finally, at long last, we're doing a duck recipe. This one's from 1773. Thanks for joining us today. The English recipe books from the 18th century are chock full of poultry and game bird recipes. Uh, duck shows up a lot here. So we're going to be doing a duck recipe. This one's from the Universal Cook by John Townsend in 1773. And it says you can do this with duck, you can do it with widgeon or teal. Uh, who knows what kind of uh, bird you brought down that you want to you want to cook up. Now today we're going to be using a modern duck. A, a commercial duck, as it were, and, and they actually call this thing a duckling. It's huge. It's probably the size of a goose in the 18th century. Uh, you, today, we would probably say, oh, we're going we're gonna to roast this duck, something like that, because our modern ducks are, are lots, of, lots of meat here, um, and, and we can get away with roasting them. You don't see uh, ducks being roasted too much in the 18th century because they're small and probably tough. So stewing is the way you're going to be cooking a duck in the 18th century. So we're going we're gonna to prep this duck just like that. We're going to stew him. If you're following along at home, here are the ingredients we're going to need. Uh, we, we're going to use a duck here. If you don't have a duck, you could probably use a chicken. I'm not sure exactly how it would turn out here, but a duck is, is what we're going to be using today. Uh, we've got some ground salt and pepper. Um, a few whole cloves. We don't need too many. We're, we're going to need a couple of ounces of butter to put inside the bird that's cooking. We also have uh, a couple of shallots and a bundle of sweet herbs. So rosemary, um, we've got some mint here, some tarragon, a little bit of basil. There's some sweet herbs and then we're going to, uh, since this is stewing, we're going to need liquids. So we've got some red wine, um, some good strong gravy, or in this case I'm using bone broth and then water. Let's start to assemble this. Uh, we've got our duck and we're going to put it inside of a vessel that we can have a nice tight lid on and, and I'm going to be using this camp kettle or Dutch oven. Uh, they would have used a, a ceramic vessel with a tight fitting lid. I don't have one that's big enough for this. And we want to have one that is just the right size, not too big so that we have to fill this up with liquid. So this, uh, this Dutch oven is going to work out right. Uh, it says to, do, to put these uh, shallots in. We've also got this butter that goes into the uh, body or the internal cavity here. Let's put some uh, salt on the outside of this guy. There we go. I'm gonna pat this with salt and with pepper. I'm gonna use ground pepper here. Put that on our bird. Uh, it calls for a couple of whole cloves. So we're going to toss those down into the bottom along with our bundle of sweet herbs. We're just going to put those into the side. Again, those are just here while it's cooking. They'll be taken out when it's time to serve it. Now comes uh, a, now the recipe calls for a half a pint of claret, um, a nice red wine. Uh, we're, I'm going to use a little bit more than that because this is a very, a large bird and a larger uh, vessel here. So there's our wine. And the recipe calls for a gravy. And gravy in the 18th century can mean a lot of different things. Sometimes it just means the, the drippings or the juice that comes out of meat while it's cooking. Other times you make up a gravy. And we'll be doing a gravy episode coming up real soon. This I'm going to be using a strong bone broth, which is another common ingredient in the 18th century recipes. And then we're going to come in and kind of fill it up the rest of the way with water. We don't necessarily have to go all the way over the top of this, uh, but we're going to come in here with um, a pint of water. And uh, this is ready to go just like this. We're going to put a tight lit fitting lid on this and set it on the fire and let it stew for at least two hours, possibly three. Here's our lid and this is ready to go. I'm going to put this on the fire and since it's got to cook so long, I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to cook this or stew this outside.
Well, the smell of this is incredible. We could smell this cooking 20, 30 feet away from the campfire. Um, and it, it looks like it's gonna be really, really good. Uh, we finished this up with a little bit of, um, a little bit of breadcrumb or raspings, as they would call them in, uh, in the 18th century, over the top, and then some little lemon slices around to make it look nice. Let's find out just what it tastes like. Let's see what, what the, how this works out. Oh, wow. That is really, really good. Um, the skin is tremendous on this thing. It's, and it's very kind of thick skin. It's really great part of the flavor. And then you have all those other, you know, um, wonderful, rich flavors. And, and this, we can go ahead and sort of make a gravy out of out of what is left over in the stewing materials and, and have that poured over the top. But I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to mask uh, what's going on here with uh, with too much of that. Boy, that's got some tremendous flavor. Very, very wonderful and uh, tender. Mmm, superb. If you get a chance to have duck and stew it like this with this wonderful 18th century recipe, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it a lot. Thank you for coming along today. Uh, this one is a tremendous recipe. If you're interested in more game recipes, make sure to check out this one.